Some law enforcement officers in Tennessee have a hard time abiding by the laws they were sworn to uphold. Harriman's former police chief allegedly abused his position and his employees in different sorts of ways, and no one had any formal way to report it. Meanwhile, Humphreys County Sheriff's deputies, under certain circumstances, have the right to seize your stuff, but those deputies rarely ever kept an inventory of what they took, comptrollers reported. State comptrollers also called out Graysville police after officers seized a car in a drug arrest and used that car illegally. Meanwhile, Knox County Sheriff's officers invaded a property where a married couple kept horses. According to a federal lawsuit, those officers arrested and abused the wife when she asked for a search warrant. The lawsuit goes on to say that officers seized the couple's horses and said they couldn't get those horses back until and unless they donated to a private charity the officers were personally involved with. The forces pushing for municipal broadband had little success convincing state legislators to go along with their cause in 2016. Under such a system, government officials used public money to set up a high-speed broadband service, sometimes to service rural areas that don't have the service or, as is the case with Chattanooga's EPB, to compete against private providers that city officials dislike. Many private providers said they cannot yet afford to set up service in rural areas, often because Tennessee's poll attachment fees are simply too high and cost three times the national average. Private providers say rural areas should have high-speed internet in five to ten years through new and less expensive technologies and through the free market. Speaking of EPB, that public utility took $111 million in taxpayer money back in 2011 to create their municipal broadband service. According to IRS records, TN for Fiber, a website and a Facebook page reportedly made up of rural folks pushing for expanded municipal broadband in Tennessee is overseen by EPB executives and other public utilities. In 2016, Nashville officials paid 20 times the regular market value for new bike racks downtown. Also in 2016, Nashville officials paid an out-of-state artist $300,000 to create an exhibit commemorating the civil rights movement, even though the artist lives 2,000 miles away in California and that money won't recirculate in Tennessee. Meanwhile, Memphis officials paid another California-based company $300,000 to create an abstract art sculpture. Government documents, meanwhile, show the Tennessee residents who drive electric cars rarely use charging stations that the taxpayers pay for. Also, the Tennessee Technological University returned nearly $200,000 in student federal loans because too many people who took student loans dropped out of school. Follow Tennessee Watchdog at TennesseeWatchdog.org or like us on Facebook and Twitter.